turn in your Bibles to the book of Matthew in the fifth chapter. I'll just read a few scriptures here. I tried to study this a little bit, and the more I studied it, the more I realized how blessed we are. Amen. And uh, how that we should never be discouraged, uh, even though things are not going the way we think they should go. If you think about it, they'll be, they're going just the way God wants them to go. And uh, sometimes we don't understand what, uh, as like Brother Jerry's uh, baby, uh, we don't understand it. But there, there's a reason for it, and there's, Amen. A, there's a plan for it, and uh, it'll, it'll be all right. Uh, but in, anyway, in chapter 5 and verse 1, Jesus had just uh, uh, got through choosing his disciples. And I think we can just see that if you wanted to look at it in Luke chapter. But anyway, he, he, had, uh, he had chosen them. And uh, after this, well, they, it says up there in, in verse 4 that the great multitude followed him. And uh, that come from different places there in Jerusalem and Jordan. And, and, uh, and, and Jesus looked on them and seeing, here in chapter 5, verse 1, and he said, And seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. Now, I, I'm under the impression that, uh, that Jesus, as he says, blessed are the poor, was talking to his disciples. I don't think that the, the multitude had, was there because later on we see that he come back down and talk to the multitude but anyway regardless here is here is what jesus said to them concerning being blessed and this blessed is uh the word blessed i've looked to try to get the, a good definition for it but i i see that it says more happy uh they're they're the blessed are more happy uh they than the poor in spirit and they're compared to the rich and, and the proud and self-sufficient and so we this morning that are are blessed and you know uh, sometimes uh, you can uh, uh, do different things or you can look a certain way or you can get over uh, uh, some kind of an illness or something and and people will say boy you was blessed that you done that well yeah I agree and uh, everything that, that I have ever got over or accomplished for the Lord was the one that had to do the blessing. Amen. And here, here he's talking to the disciples and he said, blessed are the poor in spirit. Now we this morning, uh, sometimes uh, we get down and out. Hmm. But here he's talking about the poor in spirit and he's saying that they are blessed because they are they are poor in spirit, and the word poor is uh, denoting not enough of, of worldly possessions, or you're just poor. But he says, blessed are the poor, because uh, he goes on in, in other chapters in the Bible and talks about those that are rich in worldly goods, they're not, they're not blessed. And so we see here he's saying, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. In other words, they're always seeking the kingdom of heaven. Now, people this morning, if, if you know, uh, the old adage is about uh, if I hadn't got two nickels to rub together, and I, I'm depending upon the Lord completely. Uh, and and you, you, you know, a lot of times we, we see our income slipping. We see our worldly possessions looking at what in the world am I going to do but the thing of it is listen if we get to that point and we're depending solely upon the Lord to supply our needs then and then will we be blessed Amen. because listen we're not depending upon self we're not depending upon the world but we're depending upon the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. to, to watch after us and uh, you know, I, I sometimes I, I sometimes uh, think about how much better it would be for me not to try to count pennies 
and try to say, well, I'm going to save this to buy this and, and do this to do that. But just say, Lord, whatever's your will, whatever I need, you supply. Amen. And that way, then I would be, I would be in a condition to be happy. If I can turn it over, if I can turn everything over to the Lord, if I could turn everything over to the Lord and, and just go about my daily, daily life and depend solely upon Him if I needed, if I needed whatever, and knowing and believing and trusting in Him to supply it, I would be much more happy than I am to try to figure out tomorrow how I'm going to pay a debt or tomorrow how am I going to buy groceries or whatever. And so he said, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And again, he, he uses this thing, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Amen. Now, you, you think about this mourning, and I assume that what he's talking about here is that they're, they're, they're uh, crying or they're, uh, uh, they're, they're sick in spirit, but he says they're blessed. And that, to me, is, is something that it takes a whole lot to understand because uh, blessed, are the, blessed are the mourn, or are they that, that mourn for, and I'm, I'm assuming that they're mourning for uh, uh, going home to be with the Lord, if nothing else. But he says here, they, will be, they shall be comforted. Now, in this, in this, I want you to see something that I read, and I'll try to get it to you as, as I can. Proverbs 16. I want you to see Proverbs 16 and 19. Better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoils with the proud. Amen. He that handleth a matter wisely shall find good, and whosoever trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. And and you know, we we hear this all the time. We hear it from the pulpit, we hear it from the Sunday school teacher, from the afternoon church, that we need to trust in the Lord. But so many times we do not take it to heart as, as, as much as we should. We, and, and he's, I mean, you know, every time I read it, I say, well, I'm not doing it like I should. And uh, I, I, I have a desire to be drawn closer to the Lord, but this is the way to be drawn closer to the Lord, is to trust Him. And Amen. He says here, he that handleth a matter wisely shall find good. And whoso trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. The wise in heart shall be called prudent, prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increase learning. Understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath it. But the instructions of a fool is folly. So these are some of the things that he says there in verse 25. Notice, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the way, but the end thereof are the ways of death. And we need to take that into consideration every day because so many times we think we know what we're doing. And so many times we find out, hey, we was wrong. And so when we have anything come our way and and and, and you know I, I i prayed for jerry and i tried to uh pray to him because listen he's just lost a church and the devil he just keeps on pounding on him and pounding on him and uh we 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 do need to pray for jerry because Amen. you can imagine how how low he is really uh because i know he's i know he's considered lord was it because I did something I shouldn't do? You know, and so this morning, remember these things uh, about being blessed. Because even though we have heartaches and problems come our way, sickness and everything, we're still blessed because we have got the knowledge. We have got the knowledge about the Lord Jesus Christ and Amen. about His salvation and how 
that this life is just a fleeting moment and it's going to all be over with one of these days. And what we need to do while we're going through this time is to really take notice of that fleeting moment and take, take, take it to heed what you're doing and praise the Lord Jesus Christ every day that you go through this day and these fleeting moments these fleeting moments are going to go Amen. But one day you're going to stand before <coughs> you and you're going to hear well done thou good and faithful servant and listen it all it'll be worth it all it'll be all worth it all and and these things that he's saying here like this blessed are you you're blessed because because you know the Lord Jesus Christ is your Savior, you're blessed because you have learned by attending church and reading the scriptures and things like this, you have learned more about Him and you're closer to Him and you're blessed. And here uh, in our next, uh, in verse 5, he, will, he talks to us about the meek. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And Amen. I, I, want to, I want to read something to you. Well, let's see. And I think I got a scripture in Revelation I want to read to you uh, concerning uh, inheriting the earth. Revelations um, uh, uh, 21. More. Revelations 21. I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea Amen. and I John saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride of Norn for her husband that's why this morning that we can say we're blessed John saw this Jesus told him to write it down he wrote it down, and this is this is some of the things that we have to look forward to this morning. Because he says, "And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and He will dwell with them, and they shall be His people, and God Himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, Amen. and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow." nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away now Amen. all of these things that are going on with us in this lifetime with the pain and with the sorrow and with the frettings and all of these things he's saying here and this is the reason why that we're blessed is because they're going to go away they're going to be gone and you just 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 stand still and see the salvation of the Lord and watch him and he'll deliver you from these things Amen. one day you can look behind you and say well we got through it by the grace of God and and we're looking forward to this new heaven and this new earth where we will live with and reign with the Lord Jesus Christ for along for ages now here in I will read one other scripture that I had marked if I can if I can find it real quick for you and it, it helps just a little bit more in Psalms 37 Psalms 37 37 and I believe it's in first one yes 37 one it says for us Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and withered as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy ways unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and the judgment as the noonday sun, sun noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait Man. patiently for him. <clears throat> Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his ways because of the man who bringeth wickedness devices to pass. Cease from anger Amen. and 
forsake wrath, fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For the, the evildoer shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. So again, this morning, these scriptures that I'm reading to you, uh, so many times when we read them, it's blessed, 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 blessed. And we never try to, we don't think a lot of times, and as I was studying this, I thought, my, uh, what does this word bless me? What is, what, what is Jesus trying to say? Well, it's all of these things that I'm re trying to read to you this morning uh, about uh, how blessed you are. Amen. And uh, we so many times, we so many times don't give God the praise. We so many times don't praise uh, the Lord Jesus Christ for what He's done for us. But... I want to continue just a little bit further. Here, after we sing, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Then, in verse 6, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Amen. So here, we have, a, we have a promise this morning that all of these things that are, that are plaguing us and bothering us here upon this earth, they will be done away with and he says hunger and pain and all these and i and i know that we can say well i don't I, that don't pertain to me well no it don't in some ways but listen there's so many people right around us that are hungry for the word of god amen they are getting a a diet of sin sin uh causing or, 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 or causing them to uh, not understand they're getting a diet of it and they are they are uh, not blessed uh, because he says they they they, don't, they hunger and they thirst after righteousness and these here they they are blessed because they do because they do hunger and they and they are are, are filled but the thing of it is there's so many around here that don't get the same thing that we're getting right and this morning uh, we we are blessed because we have the truth people amen and, and, and so many times we walk out these doors and we don't ever even try to say thank you lord for what you what you told me today what you what you showed me today and uh we we need to live closer to the lord and what we are and uh We'll be, we'll be a lot happier, I think, in spirit. And again, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Amen. In uh, Matthew's Gospel, in, uh, I believe it's 11. I'm going to read just a, just a small thing to you. 11, 23. He's talking to these cities, but he says, And thou, Capernaum, which are exalted unto heaven, shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have, which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for these. And this is this is why I think it, I wanted to read this because, listen, there is so many works here and he says uh, in this, blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy. And we, we're, there's not as many works uh, and we see, we turn our television on and we see thousands and thousands of people in these places and like this and the preachers up there uh, trying to tell them something. The works that are being put forth are deceiving works. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, uh, this morning, should remember this, that uh, the, in, uh, in our lesson it said, blessed are the merciful, and the merciful are those that will tell the truth. Mm -hmm. But listen, people, there's a lot of people out here that's telling it for the gain of this world. They're not, they don't have no mercy on them for, uh, you know, a, a person that tries to tell you about your life and how that you can serve the Lord, that's a merciful person. Amen. And uh, so many, so many people, they just despise this mercy. But he says here, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And then in verse eight, blessed are the pure in heart, 
for they shall see God. And so this is this is most the one of the most important things this morning that I can think of. And, and you know, as we were singing that song with our this morning, I shall know him. You bet. I shall know him. And I'll know him. Uh, the song says about the nail scar in his hand. And, and I, I, I I think I'll just know him if I didn't see his hand because of the mercy that he's that he bestowed upon me and uh, there, his face will his face will not shine anything that's in heaven his he, that mercy will we'll, we'll just we'll just know more than that and so here uh this is another thing that we need to think about now number 10 blessed are they which persecute for the righteous sake blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake amen theirs is the kingdom of heaven and so the righteousness sake here is those that are trying to live for the lord those that are trying to be a witness for the lord and people persecute them people uh talk bad about them people try to hurt them in any way they can and try to interfere with them having a good life but he says here they right here he says for theirs is the kingdom of heaven now <clears throat> That is a future, a future hope, and uh, we can look forward to that because if we uh, if we do what the Lord says, we're certain to have a home. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. And uh, so uh, this morning, uh, uh, people people want to hurt you. Mm -hmm. with their lips and with their mouth and with their tongue uh, they want to uh, make you look like you're silly when you try to talk to them about the Lord Jesus Christ and it's because that they're ashamed they're ashamed of Jesus Christ they 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 had rather a whole lot rather you talk to them about the devil and uh, uh, something about him and all how mean he is or something like that than to, for you to tell them how merciful and how Amen. good and how uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is and what he did for them and so these are some of the things that I, I see in see in this but in verse 12 this is this is our great one rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Amen. And uh, he says here that you are the salt of the earth, and you must remember this. But if the salt have lost its savor or its taste, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden underfoot. He says you're the light in the world, and, and this salt, we don't want to lose our saltness because our testimonies is all that we have in this world to tell other people about that's our saltness and if it if it loses its saltness it has no effect and if we get out and act and do it in such a way our saltness will be to the point where that people won't listen and our light you are the light of this world a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid uh, and if you hide your light by doing things that you should people will not not look for, or will not look or not listen to you for these things so uh, I want to read one more other thing in 2 Corinthians 4 8. If I can get full there that that's quick, I'll, I'll, I'll close, close up. But in 4 in, in verse 8, it says, <clears throat> We are troubled on every side, mm -hmm. yet not distressed. And this is this is the thing that we, we need to remember. Uh, troubles. Troubles will, will will cause you problems. Yeah, they will stress you. But he says here, we're troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not despaired. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Amen. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our bodies the death burial and the resurrection of jesus christ Amen. it says here that the life also of jesus might be made manifest in our bodies 
For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Manifesting the Lord Jesus Christ. And this is some of the things this morning that I, uh, re I seen in the, the chapter of Matthew there. And I hope that, uh, I hope that it's, uh, uh, will help you to, uh, just think a little bit more about how blessed you are. Amen. Because, uh, that's it. I mean, uh, we're blessed. Amen. Uh, just to, uh, thank the Lord. Uh, for each blessing is uh, it's a blessing if you think about it. Every time that the Lord blesses you, you thank Him again. Amen. Thank you. And praise Him His holy name. And tell the others about it. Thank you so much for listening.